Yo, hold on, everybody. Y'all go listen to this. I'm about to just listen. Circle time, he's able. I have him do thumbs up if the words rhyme and thumbs down if the words don't rhyme. And he is always able to identify if that can, if they can rhyme or not. And rhyming's a, a, kind of a difficult concept for kids to understand. And he's he gets it right pretty much every time. So that's pretty impressive. Um, like I said, he's able to write his name accurately. Um, he likes to participate in free write activities. For math, he's able to count to 20 accurately. Um, whenever identifying numbers, he can identify up to 10 if I'll say, like, can you point to the number 8? He's able to point to numbers up to 10, and then he starts to struggle a little bit with 11 through 20, but that's pretty typical for a kid his age. Um, things we're going to continue to work on with Emmett, uh, managing the classroom rules. Sometimes he does need reminders throughout the day to follow the classroom rules. Um, our rules are, we just have four simple rules. We walk, we listen, we share the toys, and we clean up. So he kind of needs uh, reminders to walk through the classroom. He does like to run. He's a more physical kid. Um, so we kind of have to remind him to use his walking feet a lot. And then sometimes he needs reminders to remember to clean up at transition time. So as long as there's a teacher that's kind of with him um, modeling cleanup and kind of reminding him frequently to clean up his area, he does really well. Um, following multi-step directions, he does get distracted kind of easily. So if we give him a direction that has like three steps, for example, in the morning when they come into school, their job is to move their name on the board from home to school, put their coats away, and then go wash their hands for breakfast. And he does good with remembering to put his name on the board, and then he goes to hang up his coat, and then he kind of forgets what he's supposed to do after that, and he'll go find a toy to play with, or he'll go sit down to eat, and uh, we have to remind him to go wash his hands. So we're just going to continue to work with him um, to remember those three to four step directions, because that is something that they kind of want to be ready for kindergarten. Um, ignoring distractions, sometimes, like I just said, he's e easily distracted. He doesn't stay on task very long. Um, so we just have to kind of give him reminders to stay on task whenever we're working on small group activities or cleaning up to move on to something else. Um, I, there's not too much we're continuing to work on academically. Like I said, he's very smart. Um, we are working on the numbers 11 to 20 um, to get those so when he goes to kindergarten he has those but really they only ask that they know up to 10 and then they continue from 11 to 20 in kindergarten so if he leaves here for the summer and he doesn't know all those numbers it's not a huge deal um same thing with letters he can identify his name he knows the letters in his name so now we're working on the letters that are outside of his name um, our goal is to get him to be able to identify 11 to 20 uppercase and then 11 to 20 lowercase letters by summer. Um, so, like I said, he is really, really smart. So I feel like in the next couple of months, he's going to be able to, to get a grasp on that. Um, so that's what I have for his conference. And then I have the kindergarten readiness check here. But like I said, just looking through it, we've pretty much gone through everything. Um, our biggest concern for when he goes to kindergarten, and you're already aware of this, is um the his kind of attention abilities so um being able to hold his attention on something and keeping him on task that's something that they're going to want him to have for kindergarten so that's kind of what we've really been working on i think he's up to date and doing really well academically so we just kind of continue to focus on those social emotional skills of being able to stay on task and giving him some strategies in the classroom to help him pay attention a little bit more whenever we're doing activities that he's not always interested in. Um, so do you have any other questions or concerns before I let you go? No, I do not. Okay. All right. So when you guys come back uh, next week, I will have a copy of both the K-Ready checklist and the parent-teacher conference. I'll have a copy for you to sign that I'll keep, and then I'll give you a copy to take home with you. And after you look through it, if you have any other questions or anything, you can give me a call or a text, and I'll try to get back to you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Hey, thanks. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. Yeah. So, like, uh, <clears throat> they're going to send that checklist, and I'll be able to uh, read everything that I didn't get to record, all the real, real good stuff that they were saying. That was pretty crazy, some of the stuff that they were saying. Uh, I mean, besides what everybody heard. 
Oh, that's 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 the youngest. That's my five year old stepson. I've had him since he's two months old. Emmett Eli, come here, dude. Hurry up, man. Come here. I'm pretty proud right now. <laughs> well, I would hope so. That's that's who we talking about right there. Tell us, tell us, tell me what your name is. Emmett. Say, say, come here, come here. Tell me what your name is. Come here. Emmett. Emmett, what? Miller. Okay. All right, go play. Okay. All right, peace out, Cub Scout. No, that's all right. <laughs> all right. I'll get the other stuff on and uh, read the, the rest of the K-12 update. Everybody can hear what was said about them. All right.